lessons from this matchup and they can't win it. You're not really like learning during these matches as uh, Happy will actually take out Heesing, who's kind of like lurking behind enemy lines. You're really like learning in those practices, seeing what you can kind of take into the matches, right? Uh, right? If you win, great. If you lose, like, okay, just just be good enough to not be in that bottom three and not make it. Yeah, again, there's also a, a case for that, right? Like, you're so focused on just trying to execute what you've worked on. Like, what are you really uh, developing, adapting to uh, outside of just being able to play in the match conditions in a series like this? Look, he's saying op opens it up, right? Uh, gets opened up on rather. Not much to say there. Houston find a first pick. They translate that very elegantly into a point capture. And this is the composition again that we were talking about. Uh, no, on Ilios, where the outlaws should be really good at this. Uh, and it, it just got me thinking, like, what like what play style could we say that the Shock would excel in at the moment? Like, I think that's, like, the hardest thing. It's like, okay, if you have one play style you can, like, kind of fall back on and be really good at, uh, it, we've seen teams be able to win some games that maybe they're not, you know, favored in uh, in the past and being able to do it like that. But uh, there's not really something right now that, you know, at least from what we've seen that you look at from the Shock and you're like, okay, they can clearly be one of the top three teams in this style of play, right? Well, okay. I would like to see them really refine their Ramatra-based compositions, personally. Okay. Uh, like, take a take a leaf out of the Los Angeles Valiant's book. You can really nail that down. Like, you can start to, like, come out of the gates much stronger on control. I, I, like, I don't know. I don't think proper as Sombra is the play. The whole point that we saw shuffling it at DPS in the past is so that proper could play whatever he had to. And Merritt used to do this alongside proper on 02 Blast, by the way. He would just play whatever he had to so proper could be on the most impactful hero. That should always be the script here for San Francisco. Well, maybe you're grooming he's saying to be in, like their own superstar DPS in time. That's not the role that they should be really looking to fill here. Oh, I mean, Fearless just collapses on Finn. That's the Nano Winston dive, right? Not much you can do about that. Happy has been struggling though. I've got to say they've done well at saving this Tracer off. Yeah, it's, uh, I see, I think actually maybe just kind of having proper on that Tracer and then kind of working around that oh, might, might be the route here. But uh, Vindayim actually pops the rally, so pretty healthy here, uh, even after losing Finn. But now you're going to have Violet popping the rally late and Pelican's going to actually use a duplicate. Oh, oh and that's maybe why you want yeah. him on Tracer. Yeah, let him cook, bro. Give him the utensils. Set him up over the grill. Yeah. Uh, put a I, freaking apron on him. I get what you're saying with the Ramatra, like, rush style cobs, but then you put him on May, where it doesn't really feel like... No, no, no. Put he's hanging on May. Put he's hanging on May. Oh, okay, okay. He's okay. hanging okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, what we saw from the other day was <laughs> proper playing a lot of May. Uh, and it... No, 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 no. That, that's, that's whack, bro. I, I ain't about that life. Happy gets hacked there, so it's an easy one for proper. Yeah. But yeah, look, I think... Look, your, the way you approach this problem... Is much more simple, but it doesn't say anything about how you build the rest of your comp. Because I think the problem with this team is, like, their weaknesses get exposed when it, when their backline goes up against like Shun yes. Wider, for example, the, or Junbin's trying to do with feelers. They're doing a good job now, though. Uh, I will yep. say the shock doing a good job here on defense. You're going to have a nano boost here, potentially use onto. Uh, I mean, what, you can nano the Brig, you can nano the Tracer, the D.Va, uh, as Pelican now. Uh, gonna go over to Genji here, so they, they want to get really aggressive. No longer focus on this Echo in the sky. Uh, they're gonna just dive and collapse. So I think Heesang's done a great job of being really disruptive. He's setting up a lot of kill opportunities, many of those going to proper. Shu build up his nano incredibly fast. And look at this, they preemptively nano Vendime. Just to make sure, hey, we, 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 pro we think we're probably going to lose the brick first here if we don't pop this ultimate. But this really is fantastic from San Francisco, right? Yeah. Making use of Junbin on this D.Va. Uh, we think it was, you know, a hero we knew that he'd be pretty adept at. And Houston are playing like a really all-in comp that gets ruined when Finn just nanos his vulnerable backliner in Vindar. Uh, and, and when Fearless jumps in, he has the effects of that nano. He puts down the bubbles, kind of separates Finn, but they nano the brig and just push on forward, and there's no ne reason to. Is Oh, that's a nice spot there from Finn. Gets that high ground, biotic grenade from behind. Uh, is now the shock actually look like they're playing quite well. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. Junbin with the... What the? Ring that kill on a tracer of all things. You don't see that every day, that's for sure. Fearless now going to be using his Primal Rage. Makes you wonder about uh, yeah if there's any switches on the horizon. And Happy, yeah. Again, the Houston are playing know, somewhat disrespectfully in that they're not trying to use a Sombra to disrupt Junbin like they did so effectively in the first map. So they're making those switches now. Uh, they still have a Dragon Blade for Pelican. Indoor Rally is kind of tough, yeah. but we'll see how they make use of it. Because point A was so fast, they still had a decent amount of time. I mean, a, yeah. minute, <laughs> I mean, a minute plus. Uh, on the clock, you think he's saying you get good value out of this EMP is proper looks for, lurks from the high ground. I mean, that is too easy. Perfect. 
look, can't ask for much more than that. Proper hasn't died yet this round. Six final blows for zero deaths. That's been really important. Also, yeah, he's saying a lot of eliminations and actually, yeah, really setting up a lot of this play. Fearless has died five times. Uh, Shu's died four times and so has Violet. So the focus really has been on, you know, Fearless in the back line is here by San Francisco. This is excellent. This is great defensive use of the Diva setup on this part of the map. They're getting a lot of value out of just nanoing the Brig. And Finn has that available again. So how does Pelican get value, man? Trying to die. I, I mean, it's going to be tough, especially when Finn has been landing these Really nice biotic grenades. It'll be a rally from both sides. So, see Pelican getting really Ooh. low there. Gets hit with a big bash, too. This is going to be nasty. Either way, Vin Dime with two. This time, it's an offensive nano on the brick player. Pelican still had no, had no opportunity to use a blade. We have 17 seconds left in the round. Is this the shock this is we've so been waiting for? The for? Shock. Yeah, I mean, this exact, I mean, Obviously, they gave up checkpoint A, but since then, though, they've gotten these ultimates rolling, and this is, looks fantastic. So, we'll see if Pelican and Co. can make it back towards the car. It looks like it'll have to be fearless when we get a touch. Didn't be there, gonna be holding the front line. Hacked, though. Gets a heal pack. Huge. I mean, yeah, again, shoot, going down again. This time it's Finn that finds him. His blade better. Uh, never mind. Yeah, I put that one away and maybe uh, just uh, stick it on the mantelpiece for the time being. Squire, that's no good. Vindime is the one that finds that kill eventually. It's Pelican taking down awful fast, and this Primal Rage from Fearless just looks like a baby tantrum. Trust me, I've seen plenty of them lately. That will be the Houston Outlaws brought to a stop here in the second phase of the map. Uh, look, far from being an atrocious round from Houston, a fantastic round from San Francisco. You've got to give credit where it's due.